Hij heeft een test, Loopt hij ook al? Ja. Ja, maar ik wist niet dat hij al liep, hè? Ja, maar ik Ja, maar ik wist niet dat hij al liep, hè? Ja, maar ik wist niet dat hij al liep, hè? Ja, maar ik wist niet dat hij al liep, hè? Ja, maar ik wist niet dat hij al liep, hè? Ja, Maybe you've seen the exhibition in Helfsen, in Austria, in the Netherlands. You have different cameras over here. Oh yeah, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh so we were we were already running. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, this, this, this is this is the three D stand actually, and I'm standing with uh, Rome, uh, Joey. Yep. Joey Romero. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, uh, I'm Louis. Star TV, Rotterdam. Wachten? Nee, 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 nee. I love the hall. No, okay. <laughs> uh, hi, Joey. Um, we're, so, we're standing here. Camera one, camera two, three, four. Uh, all three D products. Mm -hmm. uh, most interesting. Uh, thing at the moment, I think, for the viewers, uh, most most pictures are made in 3D, especially the martial arts pictures. Uh, you know, they are coming in 3D because they giving they giving the extra flair to the movie. Yeah, well, what we've been finding is um, a, a lot of what's happening right now is yeah, you know, there's a lot of martial arts, um, there's a lot of horror movies, a lot of zombie movies, those type of movies. Just because it's what 3D does, it gives it that extra dimension to to make to make the, the audience feel as though they're more a part of what's going on. But it's not necessarily just that. A lot of time, it's it's what they can show as far as depth behind the screen, so that so that as the viewer, they can be immersed within the entire screen, so that they can see the, the entire atmosphere of everything that's going on. 3D allows them to not only feel everything in front of their space, but to see everything beyond the screen as well. To get actually, actually to get into the picture. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, and, and, and uh, you, your, uh, your company make, is making uh, this uh, 3D uh, cameras and these 3D uh, uh, programs. Yep. So what we do is uh, we're the company that builds all the 3D rigs. Uh, basically, it's going to be used from anything from uh, cinema to documentaries, um, all the way up to live broadcasts. In fact, uh, our largest rig over there, the Quasar, was actually used uh, for the World Cup. So there was 22 of those exact rigs with the, the Sony 1500s and the Sony MP200 in order to record 25 of the World Cup games within 3D, all of that using our gear. So for us, that was a really big, that was a big accomplishment. Yeah, it's really big. I, we and think everything so. in 3D, this, this is really three-dimensional. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and all the feedback we've been getting is, for those people who are looking at it at a football match in 2D versus a football match in 3D, they just felt just much more involved uh, when they're watching the soccer game because a lot of it is now all of a sudden they get to see exactly how far the, the football player has to run. They get to see exactly how far it is to that goalpost. Whereas in 2D, you don't really get that. Everything's typically very flat. Ball yeah, flipping all, over. All you see is a ball. And okay, where is that ball? But now in 3D, you get this whole spatial element of exactly where that ball is on the field. So it's it's definitely something that people are wanting a little more of. No, it makes it it makes it uh, uh, natural. Yeah, yes. 
absolutely, and absolutely. You're, you're getting uh, you're getting life into the picture. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's like your your uh, your uh, yeah. We're, you're standing in the same room with with the actors, actually. No, absolutely. And you know, it's what it comes down to is when you're looking at uh, when you're looking at a 2D uh, image. It's kind of like when you're you know reading a magazine. Everything's very flat. Um, there, there's no reference to anything spatial and now all of a sudden it's kind of like you're looking at a pop-up book where you open up the page and everything kind of pops up at you and now all of a sudden you feel immersed in what you're watching so for the viewer all of a sudden they, they add this new for the lack of a better term a new dimension that they now all of a sudden they they can feel as though they're part of what they're watching so yeah it's a it's a it's a big thing and it's and we're very we're very very happy to be part of it and um, what do you think in in the future we going we going to uh, to feel the 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 the, 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 the well the, you know there's a lot of the amusement parks are right now already playing with um, not so much sounds but with vibrations with uh, tactile feel so basically anything from vibrations to water sprays and stuff like that so it works it works really well within the amusement parks. Whether or not we're going to see something now, I, uh, it, it's going to be hard to say. It's going to be hard to say whether or not there's going to be something that's going to be replicated in 3D and something that you can get some tactile feel in what it is that you're watching. Uh, we've seen some experiments going on actually with the companies in Japan that looks really enticing. So uh, how that's going to parlay into what we're working on, it's going to be very interesting to see. Something for the future. Absolutely. and. And uh, we're enjoying this right now, and that's uh, that's uh, for more than enough, I think. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you, Joey. Oh, and uh, no. we uh, we we have a a lot, we, uh, a lot, and uh, hope you have a nice time here in Holland. And oh, well, so far it's been great. So <laughs> and uh, great. if you, end of the day, if you think one of these things is going to the garbage, uh, just think of. Uh, yeah. <laughs>